And today I want to talk a little bit about how time is tracked within the Genesis Pure Cloud solution. In contact centers, uh, there's a lot of metrics that users are used to tracking. Specifically, one of those areas is around uh, what I refer to as agent activity. And so that is really the time from when an agent logs into the solution, from when they log out, and all the things that happened uh, throughout that day, whether it's the interactions that they're uh, handling with customers, whether it's time between those for coaching, meeting, breaks, and other activities that are required for them to uh, you know, have a successful day uh, within the contact center. So one thing about contact centers is there, uh, there is a lot of data and uh, a lot of uh, everything is really uh, measurable. And a big part of that is, is those various activities that uh, an employee or agent is doing when they're logged in. And, and what are the buckets of time uh, that are tracked as a result of that? And really what that allows contact centers to do is measure things like, you know, agent utilization. So, you know, if I'm paid eight and a half hours uh, on average or for this particular day, how much time am I spending, you know, handling customer interactions and how much time is, is really there for overhead activity um, that may be required to do the job successfully but isn't directly related to, you know, handling those uh, customer interactions. And one of the ways to track this level of detail is uh, commonly known as kind of, you know, aux, not ready or unavailable states. And it's, it's where you're, you're saying, you know, I'm not going to be able to handle interaction right now. And the reason for that is I'm on a break or I'm lunch or I have a, a meeting to go to or a training. And so how does that happen in Pure Cloud? So when an, anyone logs into Pure Cloud, uh, there's a number of states that are there by default. And the reason for that is Pure Cloud combines both kind of a, a collaboration tool, so it's a tool that can be used for internal communications, whether that's, you know, employee-to-employee uh, -employee calls, instant messaging, screen sharing, and many other things like you would see in a, uh, you know, a Skype for Business or, or other solutions uh, like that. And so by default, there's a number of states that are there that indicate what my status is to be able to interact. Now, what those are, though, are really, those are kind of, in Pure Cloud, they're kind of part of the agent's login record, but they're kind of outside the work they would do from a contact center perspective. And so what happens is uh, these states kind of are used within the contact center or within the agent record uh, as part of their overall activity for the day. So for example, it, available here doesn't mean I'm available to handle a inbound or outbound interaction. It actually means I'm available to chat or take a phone call from a colleague, that type of thing. When I go uh, available for re contact center work, I actually put myself on queue. And that immediately changes my state. And everything I do within that is related to contact center work. So uh, if I'm interacting, if I'm in post-interaction processing, or more commonly known as for in the call world as after-call work. All of those things are tracked within the, within the on-queue time. And uh, however, there's going to be times when I'm not on queue. And, and that is where I'm going to use these states uh, uh, as you see here. So there is a, a common list of states that are available, um, you know, without any specific, special configuration. And so the question becomes, well, what if I have something else uh, in my business that I want to track? I have certain things. Maybe it's uh, you know, I want to track follow-up work. Maybe I want to track coaching activity. Um, you know, there could be a number of um, specialized uh, time segments that, as a contact center, you want to track. And Pure Cloud does support that. And so, in this example, I have uh, within my busy. I have a couple of specific uh, codes that I've added 
And again, I, I used those examples earlier. So if I want employees to indicate when they're going to a kind of a coaching session, maybe to review their recorded interactions and discuss their quality, I can do that there. If there is um, some type of follow-up work in your organization that employees need to handle and you want to track kind of the amount of effort put towards that, uh, obviously I have that code here. And, and really any, any list of, of codes that I, I want to add uh, to most of these core uh, you know, agent states, uh, I can do that. And so it's great that I can track that time and employees can uh, indicate that to, uh, you know, but how, how does that work within the application? How do I really manage around this particular capability? And so I'm going to go into coaching. And so the first thing I want to show is a uh, queue activity uh, view. And you can see that my employee is, uh, I'm, I'm looking at a, a basically a real-time view of this particular queue, you know, what interactions are waiting, who's logged in, what status are they in. And you can see that, you know, from a, from a real-time perspective, if I needed to know how many employees were in coaching at this particular time, I can see that uh, that's the state that I'm currently in. Uh, Similar goes for historical reporting, which is uh, I have the ability to, you know, understand the segments of time that employees were actually in that particular state for that particular day. So for, for this particular report on October 12th, uh, I was in the coaching state for 15 minutes. I was in follow-up work for 3 minutes 54. Uh, and that combined with, you know, a number of other activities I had throughout that day, you know, represents how my uh, total time for that day kind of broke up in the uh, various particular segments. And so, uh, you know, really from a pure cloud perspective, I, I do have the ability to tailor specific states uh, that I want to track. I can see them in real time. I can manage them historically allows me to report and analyze that information and really see over, you know, on any particular day, over a wider period of time, how time is being allocated within each employee in my contact center and, uh, you know, balance that between obviously work being done on customer related activities and other things that have to happen or, or we've chosen to happen in the contact center uh, related to using employees time. And so hopefully that helps on uh, pure cloud capabilities around agent states.